Welcome to uh, Definite Integrals Part 1, Area Between the Curves, where we're going to find the area between two functions. Normally we find the area between the function and the x-axis. This time we're finding the area between two different functions. Alright, so let's uh, move right along. To find the area between two curves on a certain interval, uh, a to b, it's the integral from a to b, t of x minus b of x dx, where t of x is the top function, and b of x, that would be the bottom function. Pretty simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first example. Find the area between the graph of y equals e to the 1 quarter or 0.25x and y equals ln of x from x equals 2 to x equals 6. Alright, so let's go ahead and set this integral up. Okay, it would be the integral from 2 to 6. Okay, which, which function is the top function? Yes, that's right e to the point 25x minus the bottom function ln of x dx. Alright, so I'm going to let you have a little bit of fun uh, working on that. Um, I'll let you find the uh, integral of that and then we'll evaluate. So first of all go ahead and find the antiderivative for that and then come back after you pause and check your answer. Okay, by now I'm really hoping that you know that the antiderivative of ln of x is x ln of x minus x. We've done it enough times now. If not, you would have done it by parts and f would have been uh, ln of x and g prime would have been 1. But, okay. So let's go ahead and evaluate that, and then we'll move on to the next problem. So go ahead, um, put a 6 in, and then minus uh, a 2 put in. All right, go ahead and do that, and check your work. And then everything said and done out the door. Uh, that integral, definite integral is 5.96761. That would be the area of section A right there. Alright, let's move along. Find the area of the region enclosed by the graphs of the following functions. Oh, wow, you got to be kidding me. You're not, wait a minute Mr. Manning, you're not even going to give us bounds on these? That's right. First of all, I'd like you to set those two functions equal to each other so that you can find the two bounds. So I will let you do that right now. Set the two equations equal to each other and solve for x. Alright, so I added 2x to both sides, added 20, uh, subtracted 27 from both sides, and then I wanted the coefficient of x squared to be positive, so I multiplied each term by negative 1, and now I'm ready to factor. Alright, so go ahead and factor and solve for x. Okay, so these two functions um, intersect each other twice. Well, it's a line and a parabola. That makes sense. The intersections are either going to be uh, zero points, one point, or two points. This happens to be two points. All right, which one of these two functions is the top function um, on this interval two to ten? Guess what? If you don't know, you're probably going to have to graph these two on your calculator to see which one is the top function. And it ends up being that this right here, g of x, is the top function. So, the integral from 2 to 10 of g of x minus f of x 
dx. So that would be the integral from 2 to 10 of negative x squared plus 10x plus 7 plus 2x minus 27 dx. So that would be the integral from 2 to 10 negative x squared plus 12x minus 20 dx. Alright, go ahead and find the uh, antiderivative and evaluate. And then we'll check your answer. Alright, there's the antiderivative and the evaluation of that uh, definite integral. 85 point or 85 and one-third. Okay, I think we've got one more example for you. Here we go. Find the area of the closed region or regions bound by the graphs of that cubic function and y equals 4. Okay, once again, I've given you no bounds. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to set those two um, equal to each other and solve for x again. Yes, you're going to have to use some th synthetic division because <laughs> we've got a cubic function. All right, have some fun with that one. Um, set it to equal to each other and then just probably keep on playing because you probably don't remember how to do synthetic division. Um, all right, here we go. All right, I subtracted 4 from both sides. And then I multiplied by negative 1 to get the coefficient of the lead uh, term to be positive. And now I've got it set up for synthetic division. So my possible values out here are factors of 10. 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 5, negative 5, and 10, negative 10. Um, when in doubt, I always just start with an x minus 1. So I'm just going to put a 1 out here and see what happens. All right, let's see if you remember how to do synthetic division. Okay, so the first uh, number you just move down and then you multiply one times one and get one. Then you add negative four plus one and get negative three. Multiply one times negative three and get negative three. Add negative seven and negative three, get negative 10. Uh, one times negative 10 is negative 10. Add those together and you get zero. Hey, first shot, we got it. So our factors are zero equals x minus one right here times one x squared minus three x minus ten. So zero equals x minus one. Why did I write plus one? I have no clue. So zero equals x minus one. And then factor x squared minus three x minus 10. Okay, two factors of 10 that are three apart from each other, five and two. And we need a negative three x, so minus five plus two. So our x's, where these two um, functions intersect each other, at negative two, at one, and at five. So now we have to set up a couple of integrals from negative two to one and from one to five. And I'm gonna guess that these two functions are gonna flip flop each other as to which one is the top function and which one is the bottom function. So from the integral from negative two to one, uh, four is the top function. So four minus the bottom function, which is 
negative x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 6 dx. So the integral from negative 2 to 1 of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x plus 10 dx. Okay, that's the first part. The second part goes from, I'm not going to have enough room because if I try to write over here, you know what, I'll put it up here. It should work. Okay. Uh, the integral from 1 to 5, uh, negative x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 6 minus 4 dx. So the second integral is 1 to 5, negative x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7x minus 10 dx. Then you would just do both integrals, evaluate, and find a sum. So I'm going to let you find the integral of both of these, and then you can check before you evaluate. All right, those are my two um, antiderivatives here. And then I need to evaluate those. And when I do, final answer, 78.08333. And that is the final answer. This does conclude definite integrals part one, area between the curves.